Welcome to U.S. Immigration TV. Now, I know it can be extremely frustrating for anyone who's outside the U.S. and waiting for their immigrant visa interview, as well as for their family members in the U.S. who are anxiously awaiting their arrival. For more than a year, you've endured delays, interview cancellations, and the uncertainties caused by the COVID-19 lockdowns and shutdowns. And of course, because of Trump's immigration ban. Now, the main question on everyone's mind is when can they expect their immigrant visa interview to finally be scheduled at the U.S. Embassy? Well, on April 30, 2021, the U.S. Department of State, or DOS, issued new guidance as to how embassies will prioritize the various immigrant visa categories. Now, in this video, I will discuss the new guidance. Who goes first? When can you expect your interview? And what can you do right now? Now, basically, DOS will be using a tiered approach to more or less triage immigrant visa applications based on the various categories of immigrant visas and, of course, the local conditions where the particular post or embassy is located. In their release or in their guidance, the DOS recognized that, and I quote, petitioners and applicants in the immigrant visa process are more than just numbers. We, of course the DOS, acknowledge the stress and the hardship they have borne during the past year of reduced operating capacity as a result of COVID and necessary measures taken to protect health and safety or to comply with local requirements, as well as COVID-related limitations on their travel or visa issuance. However, the health and safety of embassy personnel and that of individuals seeking immigration benefits are paramount. So, of course, they're going to be having social distancing and a reduced number of applicants who they can interview in a single day. In prioritizing cases for immigrant visa processing, DOS notes that the guiding principle on which we have based immigrant visa prioritization is that family reunification is a clear priority of the U.S. government's immigration policy. In other words, family first. So, for that reason, they will prioritize immediate relative visa applicants and K-1 fiancé visas of U.S. citizens, followed by family preference immigrant visas, and sadly, employment-based cases are given the lowest priority. So let's go through the priority for immigrant visa processing. The first is Tier 1, immediate relative inter-country adoption visas and age-out cases, as well as certain special immigrant visas, such as for Afghan and Iraqi nationals working for the U.S. government. So not that many people are going to be in Tier 1. Tier 2 is the big one, immediate relative visas, which is the spouse or minor children of U.S. citizens, as well as fiancé visas and returning resident visas. Those are for green card holders who have been outside the U.S. for more than a year. Tier 3, family preference immigrant visas and special immigrant visas for certain employees of the U.S. government working abroad. And finally, all other immigrant visas, including employment preference and diversity visas. Now, while priority is given to immediate relatives of U.S. citizens, the various embassies do plan to, what they say, schedule and adjudicate some cases in the tiers three and four categories each month. In other words, it could be possible that a mere handful of employment-based cases could be scheduled for interview each month. However, of course, spouses and minor children of U.S. citizens will go first and the employment-based cases will face continued delays. So in the meantime, what can you do? Well, first of all, make sure to keep all your contact information current with the NVC or the embassy in case you move. Another thing is to contact the NVC or the embassy at least once a year 
to avoid your case being terminated. Now they have the rule that in order to keep a case active, even though during the lockdown, you have to contact the NBC or embassy at least once a year to show that you are still interested in pursuing your case. And I just don't want to have a situation where somebody's waiting for their interview, a year passes, and then their case gets canceled. Another thing to think about is, has your passport expired? Remember, you need at least six months additional time on your passport in order for a visa to be issued. We will continue to monitor the situation at U.S. embassies and keep you updated on reopenings and other developments in connection with scheduling interviews because I know how important it is to you and your family members. So please make sure to like, share, and subscribe to this channel for the latest news, information, and developments in immigration, not just simply on reopening, but various developments such as amnesty and various tips to help you with your case. I'm Michael Gerfinkel, and thanks for watching U.S. Immigration TV.